working seven days a week, 24 hours a day on call. So we started thinking about buying a caravan. I had my own business pretty much nearly seven days a week. You know, it was time to see Australia. Sue went and did all the homework. She went to all the caravan shows to pick out the van that she would like. And we just always just kept coming back to Crusader. And it was just sitting back waiting for the right time to take off and do the big trip. Well, before we leave, my job is to make sure that the van's all um, ready to go, like fill the water tanks, uh, gas, check the wheel bearings, make sure all the servicing's right, make sure the lights are working. And Sue's job is to pack, look at the inside and make sure she packed all the right gear, <laughs> food-wise, so we've got enough food and supplies for when we are travelling around, because we like to free camp a bit. Yeah, well, we've finally got a chance to get away. Yeah, finally. Looking forward to it, darling? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what we're going to do for tea tonight. Maybe we'll just go to the pub. It's about a big day driver. The pub's made a really good pub in town. We'll have a meal there tonight. Then tomorrow night we'll set up the Weber and have a roast. Now that sounds like a plan. Just have a chilled yeah. out day. Oh well, looking forward to having a great time out. Yeah, at least the home. weather's picked up. Oh, have a look at the lovely hills over there, honey. With the Espen sitting behind the Pajero, you don't even know it's there. It's just like towing a 6x4 trailer. When we do travel along, you know, we uh, do even a lot of catch-up sometimes, which we don't always get to do much at home, so we can talk about all the things that we're looking forward to doing when we reach our destination. All right, I think we're just about here, honey. Look, the bridge is here. There's a caravan park on the right there. Yeah, there's the park on the right. We're here, we've finally arrived at our caravan park. Looks like a nice spot. Yeah. I'm looking forward. Oh, good. Yeah. Now, keep coming, you're doing good, Lou. Yep, that's it. Share everything, you know, like with the cooking and washing and dishes mm. and setting up, unsetting, it's all mm. part of the part It sort of brings us back before the children. We'll get the chairs out. We decided to downsize to the Esperance because we don't need the big van now, we just do a lot of smaller trips. And that just suits us fine. It's got all the conveniences that we need. It's got shower, toilet. Watch a tennis uh, it's got a bed, it's got cooking facilities. Well, the other thing with caravanning, you, you, you do things you don't normally do. Like you'll, you'll carry a fishing rod and you do a bit of fishing. Or you'll have a barbecue or you go for a walk along a walking track. You tend to do more of that when you're out traveling, caravanning than what you would be in, a, in suburbia. Well, the freedom of just being out, out in the um, countryside with, with good people that you've met on the road, having dinner alongside a river and just, just taking it all in under the stars and the campfire, well, where are you going to get that? You don't get that overseas. You get that in your own country. We do enjoy not just the destination, but we enjoy the travel. It's quite fun. And the other thing is meeting meet, meeting people when you're travelling on the road and you know, you might you just meet people and the next minute you'll be travelling for three or four weeks. We, you know, we have emails with people we met years ago. Still get emails every day. When we've been on the road, it's someone's birthday, so we celebrate their birthday and Sue's cooked the cake for them because we've got an oven to be able to cook <laughs> a cake, you know. I think what happens is when you're working, you've got families, when you're bringing up your children and that, you sort of uh, fall apart a little bit. Whereas um, now it's our time, and we found it with the caravan, it's brought us back closer and we do a lot more together. And a lot more talking together. <laughs> a lot more talking. <laughs> yeah, we do a bit, a bit more of that. Yeah. That's our Crusader caravan story, what's yours?
Angie Hilton. And to see my full review of the Esperance CRV, just go to the Crusader Caravans website.